come to help make this amazing show possible. Live from Studio C, this has been Friday's Live Season 50. Good night. Yeah. Hi everyone, I am Jimmy McGuire, a 1988 OU grad and a very proud Fridays Live alum. Currently, I'm living in Los Angeles and for the past 23 years, I've been working on Jeopardy as a member of the Jeopardy Clue Crew and uh, currently as part of the production team. I still can't believe it's been over 30 years since I've been back to Athens and I have nothing but fond memories of my time on Fridays Live when I was one of the early hosts when Fridays Live was a talk show. Now, if I could offer up a bit of advice for those of you who are still in school, I would say get involved, be curious, be fearless, and most of all, be kind. Have a great weekend, everybody. Live on tape from Studio B in Mobile, Alabama, it's Ed Smith from Friday's Live, season one. That's right. I'm an OG member of the crew, starting way back in 2003 and some 50 seasons later, Friday's Live is still going strong. What you see behind me, I designed the first Friday's Live logo, shot the opens, edited the opens, did all the crazy segments, and even did all the crazy graphics for the A News. So, even decided to put me on TV once. Unfortunately, I can't be there in Athens, but I would love to be and hopefully reconnect in person with all of you again. So, have fun, enjoy, and keep Friday's Live going strong. Better hurry up before I run out of battery. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Adam Abramowitz. I was uh, a host in seasons four and five. I think I started in season three. Ian Beers uh, was our executive producer. As Ian um, will be pleased to hear me say, everything was awesome. Friday's Live was a blast. It was a lot of fun. It was awesome to be a part of. Everybody that worked on the show was so talented. I work for a company called The Army Painter. We make hobby paints and accessories, and I love it. And I get to be the spokesperson for that company. So a lot of what I learned, learning to be comfortable with myself and learning to be comfortable in front of the lights and the cameras in front of other people and, and not take yourself too seriously, learning to laugh at myself. Yeah, if you're a member of Friday's Live now, you're gonna learn a lot. Be open-minded and don't be afraid to, uh, to laugh at yourself a little bit. Happy anniversary, Fridays Live, 20 years. I am devastated that I'm not in Athens, Ohio, celebrating with you this weekend, but I wanted to send you a little love note because when I think about the highlight reel in my life, Fridays Live absolutely has a place in it. I'm Ian Beers. I was involved in the show from 2003 to 2004. That is seasons one through four by today's count. And season four took over as executive producer of the show when the con graduated. Who would have thought all those years ago when the con pulled us together to put, to reincarnate Fridays Live that we would be here 20 years later talking about it. Thank you, Fridays Live. I love ya. Happy 20th. Here's to 20 more. Cheers to you. Hello Fridays Live, it is I, Dave Moss, former A News host and also head writer for a bit. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but you know, a little part of me died the last time I was in Athens. Uh, that part of me being my liver. I, it's, uh, it's, well it's not dead, but it's very close. Honestly, some of my memories were just uh, writing with the gang. We used to all meet at Zach Ross's apartment and we would order DP dough and write sketches and it was great. And then every now and then Zach would go out onto the balcony and he would, he would look into the distance and it would be as if you were thinking deeply, and we would sing, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Man, I can't sing. It was the Dawson's Creek theme song. We would sing the Dawson's Creek theme song, and it was great, and it was great, and it was very emo. I'm just now realizing a lot of you probably don't know what the Dawson's Creek theme song is or what Dawson's Creek is, because I'm old now. Yeah, anyway, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves there, and now I have to go back to to figuring out what happened to my hair. What did, what was I thinking here? I'm not sure. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, my name is Andy Walla, and I was a member of Fridays Live back in 2003 to 2005. I worked on a segment called Jason on Location. Hey, Jason Myers out there. And we had a wonderful crew. I worked with Trevor Carmack, Christine Twardzik, and myself. The most uh, memorable thing we did was probably when Jason swam across the hawking. 
I remember riding in a canoe with a camera, hoping to God we didn't tip over and I didn't ruin my camera. It's also been interesting now that I've gone full circle from being involved in Friday's Live 20 years ago to now being the advisor of Friday's Live as a faculty member in the School of Media Arts and Studies. I will say probably um, I was um, heartbroken to learn that our senior year, Christine um, was killed in a car accident. Um, and she was really active in Friday's Live. She did uh, street walking eventually, um, but it was just a really great camaraderie um, and a good time during college, and I'll fondly remember my years in Studio C. Hey there, Friday's Live. It's Travis Irvine, class of 2006 and a Friday's Live alum, and I want to say congratulations to Friday's Live for 50 seasons. Some of them, I'm told, were even very good. People are always asking me, Travis, how did you make it out to Los Angeles and work for a great company like the last podcast network? And I say, Friday's Live. That was the place where the stars went to be discovered when you had nowhere else to go to be discovered in Athens, Ohio. My favorite memory of Friday's Live is when I did stand-up comedy on the show, and that's using the term stand-up comedy very loosely. I don't think I got a single laugh, but it was still one of the funniest clips Friday's Live has ever done in the history of the TV show. I say that not biased in any way whatsoever. So thank you, Ohio University, and everyone for keeping Friday's Live alive. And here's to 50 more years. Hey, everybody, it's your old pal, Wild Willie. I saw the guy from Blue's Clues came out of retirement to give you a life update, and I figured you probably wanted one from your old pal, Wild Willie. So, what have I been up to? Well, as you may have heard or seen in headlines, in 2020, I got caught trying to sell a little bit of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. But I'm A-OK now. I'm on house arrest here in Queens, New York. And I just wanted to tell you all that I love you and miss you very much, Friday's Live. And if you ever want to buy a bridge, Wild Willie knows a guy. Are we done? Man, f*** them kids. Let's check it out. Let's find Whoa. out <laughs> what's in the box. box. What is it? What is in the box? A pickle!